Hello Cancers, I'm Christy. You're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot and this is your reading for the next six months or the final months of 2024. As always, if anything I say resonates or you feel it will, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's get on with your reading. What's happening for you beautiful Cancers? Okay. Uh, Page of Wands and the King of Cups. King of Cups came out reversed, so it, it was actually really strange because the King of Cups came out face up and then this landed like this, right? And then as they hit the uh, desk, they flipped and suddenly that one was face up and that was face down. Um, anyways, and upside down. So let's see what else you have. It's, it's just almost like something's switching, <laughs> like one way's face up. So this could be to do with you and a partner, and you're both kind of swapping sides. I don't know if you can hear, but a really loud car, but it sounds really weird. It's like not in my street or anything, it's ages away, but it's really loud. Do you know, I think it's a drone. It actually sounds like a drone. Anyways. Weird. Okay. So you've got the Six of Cups also. The sun on the bottom and something fell on the floor. Let me see what it was. It was the Three of Cups. So I'll talk you through these cards then I'll clarify to see why these have come out for you. Um, Page of Wands is exploration and spontaneous energy. You could be traveling in this next six months, but it's very spontaneous. It's a very go with the flow, um, adventure. I don't know why I'm getting adventurers out there from the movie up, but it's that feeling. I think you're kind of following your soul and where your soul is taking you. As cheesy as that sounds, it's not cheesy at all. It's like that's what you're supposed to do, you're just seeing where your feet will take you. Um, then you had the King of Cups reversed, not sure why, gonna clarify and see. Then you have the Three of Cups, very, very, very fun energy in the next six months. Very fun, very party energy. Um, I'm not saying you're necessarily partying, but you're the life of the party. Whether you're at a party or a book club, you're the one bringing the fun. You're a very fun person to be around in the next six months. Then you have the Six of Cups. There could be a friend or a past family member. As I said that, I felt the energy of a past family member, so maybe someone that's passed on, um, but there's someone hanging around you. Um, even if they've passed on, you're going to feel them around you a lot in the next six months. I'm going to clarify. Um, let's see, why is the Page of Wands here firstly? The Hanged Man and the High Priestess. You could also be exploring other realms, I'm feeling. Other psychic realms and the 5D and things like that. You're being a lot uh, more curious um, as to other parts of the universe. And not just because I was like, oh, you're adventuring, you could be traveling. Maybe you're astral traveling. Maybe you're traveling in your dreams, right? But you're being more curious instead of nervous. If you've been nervous in the past, there is no energy around here of nerves. You're just kind of going, oh, life's getting a bit boring. Let's shake it up. Where should I travel to tonight in my dreams? Um, it's quite cool. And with the hanged man, because that's making me think that even more, the hanged man isn't moving. Physically, he's hanging there like a bat. He's just chilling. He's not going anywhere. But at the same time, we're clarifying the Page of Wands, so you're traveling somewhere without traveling anywhere. Could also be you and a partner, kind of like dipping into some type of like magic or... It's like you're, you and this person close your eyes and you can kind of conjure up new realities for yourselves, like manifesting. Um, like jumping timelines or something. I don't know. I don't know what it is you're up to, but it's cool, whatever it is. Um, let me clarify King of Cups reversed. 
What is that? I've dropped another card. They're all dropping tonight. Two of Cups. Oh no, sorry. Two of Pentacles. In my defence, there's two people there. So, makes me think of Two of Cups. Two of Pentacles is juggling, but with the King of Cups reversed and the two people showing up on this card, I feel as if you might be connected to someone that is a bit flip, flip floppy, wishy washy. Um, could be your energy, could be someone else's, but it's almost like they're two different people. Like, notice, there could be Gemini energy, right? Because it's just like somebody is one way and then you you don't know what to expect from them. Because I'm also getting that energy with the Three of Cups. Um, if this is partying or a wedding or something like that. It's almost like, also I can't breathe right now. Let me take a breath. It's almost this energy of you being invited somewhere, but you don't know if you can take your plus one. Because you're like, oh, it's a way away. And I don't know if they're going to be the version of themselves that I'm fit for, which is a weird thing to come through. Um, so yeah, maybe you are with someone, or the partner you're currently with is showing up in this energy in the next six months of unpredictable, and you don't really know what version of them you're going to get. Because King of Cups, upright, very, very healthy, very predictable, very balanced, very calm-natured, but reversed. Could also be your energy, it could be you being a bit unpredictable and like one one time you're this and one time you're that and people don't know what to expect from you. It could just be that if you're single, but if you're in a relationship it's making me think that whoever you're with is going to be very wishy-washy or very all in one second and then kind of pulling away. Um, and this isn't to worry you, this is just like advice so you can kind of see it coming and maybe... Um, Squash it out straight away. Um, squash it out straight away? What am I trying to say? Put a stop to, like, be able to call this person out as soon as you start to see a pattern arise of them being one way. Could be that they were one way around lots of people and then when it's just you you and this person, they're suddenly a different person. Um, just pay attention. Just, just be aware. Um, that's the energy coming through. Clarify the Three of Cups. Justice. I just got justice will be served. And then you have the King of Swords. King of Swords is very unemotional. Um, I've got a really weird ear right now. It's not a frequency. It's like buzzing. It's really strange. Sorry I'm burping also. Um, justice with the Three of Cups seems as if... If you have been, just to carry on with that relationship, I don't think you're in a really bad relationship, but if you have been in one in the past, it seems as if you might have been with someone that kept you hidden, or kept you to themselves, or didn't like you going out, didn't like you socialising. Because with this justice in the Three of Cups, it seems like your justice, your divine justice right now is, you're going to be seen, you're going to be socialising, you're going to be having fun, you're going to be doing your thing, and they're going to see you being seen. And then they're, they're going to be like, oh, don't know how to feel about this. Because they're the person that tried to keep you to themselves. They hogged your energy. Or they wanted you. And then it's like they wanted you, but they didn't want you to have your own life. So then with the Justice card and the Three of Cups, I just feel as if you're now like, your way of redemption, your justice, is that you're, you're living your own life. And it's like doubled. It's like you're making up for lost time if you've wasted... If you're feeling as if you've wasted time not enjoying your life, you're now living it double to make up for it. And you've never wasted time, but it just, you could be in that energy of feeling as if you have. And so you're trying your best to squeeze the most life out of every moment. And it's working. Like there's something you're doing where it's like, oh, okay. Clarify the Six of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, someone you worked with in the past, it seems creatively, like you could be very creative and this person is, Six of Cups is someone returning, Eight of Pentacles is working, creating work, booked and busy, um, someone you've worked with in the past very successfully coming back around, but it seems like you've not heard from them. Or you weren't expecting to hear from them. I don't know why I'm getting the name Cat come through. Cat. 
Could be your name, could be someone else's. Cat. Oh, the funny thing is, there's actually a cat on that card. But I swear I hadn't seen it. That's so funny. Um, anyways, what else? What's happening? Ooh. I just dropped a card. Again. Five of Pentacles. There could be a feeling, um, there's going to be a feeling. But it's not too strong of you feeling like you are, um... Feeling like you're a little bit alone. Feeling like um, it's almost as if you're the one ringing everybody and always making plans or always reaching out and nobody ever checks on you or something. Um, there's going to be a little bit of that feeling and then you're going to quickly be snapped out of it. What I mean by that is maybe you withdraw for a second, maybe you stop inviting people, maybe you stop reaching out first and you go, oh, suddenly everyone's gone quiet. Maybe all those friendships or... Maybe it was always because I kept up my end, because they've never done anything. It's almost as if you were in one-sided relationships, or you're going to feel that way. And then out of nowhere, it all starts to be reciprocated. It all starts, people start to pull their end, their weight. But you, you're going to go for like a quiet period. But it's like, it's almost like, stop being everything for everyone else around you if they're not reciprocating it because it's not until you stop that they then start to see your value and they don't know what they've got and they don't realize how much you do and then they're going to come in and then they're going to realize your value and they're going to start to treasure you a little bit more because i feel as if when you give and give and gift they just people are taking advantage and the next six months is going to be where you actually take advantage of your own energy make the most of your own energy instead of giving it out um and then people are going to treasure you it seems as if you're not being treasured completely until you treasure yourself i'm gonna wrap your reading up here thank you so much for watching if anything i said resonated or you feel it will please let me know by liking and subscribing and i'll see you next tuesday for tiny storms hair tuesdays